All right, so I saw one of your posts that said black women are out of control. They are out, absolutely they are out of control. Um, black women in the West are absolutely out of control. You can go to the Sukianas of the world. You can go to the Sexy Reds of the world. You can go to the Jada Pinkets of the world, right? <laughs> black women are absolutely out of control. And the ratchet culture is taking control of a lot of black women of the West. For some reason, it has taken hold more so in the black cultures. You, I, I made a video about these black women going to Elmina's castle in Ghana, mm -hmm. twerking on the top of the castle. Now, Elmina's castle is a sacred place mm -hmm. where black people were taken from there and they never ever saw their parents again, their children again, their families again. They were put on them boats and they were gone. And that place, when people go there, they cry real tears. Mm. And you're going to twerk there and say, oh, this is for the ancestors. Like, no one else would do that. Like, a bunch of Muslims wouldn't go to Mecca mm. and twerk, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, a, a bunch of Jewish people wouldn't go to the Wailing Wall and twerk. Yeah. But it's like, black women in the West specifically do all of this type of debauchery behaviour. And now we've got, bloody, this new thing called UK baddies. And I'm watching it and I'm just like, oh, for fuck's sake. What, what is black, this? What was UK baddies? UK ba baddies, <laughs> a bunch of fat black women, <laughs> right? Just with a gay best friend, right? And they're just <laughs> arguing and fighting with everyone. And I'm just like, is this what we've, is, is this what we've like come to? But what is it, a group, a podcast? Or like it's, a, a... It's, a, it's, a, it's a reality show. Oh, right, right, okay, yeah. Now, yeah. a lot of these women on there ain't baddies. So I don't know. Like, a lot of them have got... It's got weight issues. <laughs> Are they not thick? No, they got weight issues. They look like Michelin men. And it's like, they're out here saying that they're baddies. And I'm just like, listen, I can't. If this is what it deemed, if this is what black women want for their entertainment, mm. um, no other culture does this. Um, I've said every culture in the world has their underground as their underworld. Mm. The Spanish do, the Japanese do, the Muslims do, the Christians do, the Vatican do, the whoever, just name it. They've all got that underground, underworld, people that they, they know exist, but they don't really talk about it. The yeah. problem with black people is they, they've taken their underground and their underworld and they've raised it to the surface and said, that's what being black is. So it's being embraced. It's being embraced. The underworld and the, the underbelly and all the underculture and all the nastiness is being embraced as the top tier. And I'm like, no. It ain't. So do black women in the West, um, are they out of control? In my personal point of view, hell yes. Um, do I love black women? Yeah, I do. But a, a lot, for a lot of black women, they can't fathom the fact that I can love black women and say that you're out of control at the same time. They feel like if I say you're out of control, then I hate black women. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And it's like, <clears throat> I don't. I'm saying it because I, I don't think you should be like this. And I think every culture on the world, in the world, sorry, has men saying to the women, stop, stop that stupidness, stop that stupidness, right? Mm -hmm. We can't be like that. <clears throat> and if the women are out of control, a lot of the time you can see that the society's out of control. If, the, yeah. if a bunch of Jewish women were just out of control, you'll be like, what, what the Jewish guys can't keep their women in, in check? Mm. If a bunch of Muslim women are out of control, throwing off their hijabs on the street twerking, you'll be like, yo, well, the Muslim guys can't keep their women in check. If a bunch of Chinese women were doing it, you would say that what well, a Chinese, but a bunch of black women can do it, and no one doesn't think that the that the society is out of control. No, it's out of control. Would you not call it feminism, or do you think the idea of feminism has gone too far? No, I think the idea of feminism took a hold in the black community like no other community. It didn't even take this hold in the white community, and feminism wasn't even meant for black women. Feminism was a fight with for white women against white men. Mm -hmm. Because white women at that time wanted equal rights. At that time, mm -hmm. black men and women were still being oppressed. They still had their own fight as for, for quote unquote human rights, yeah. for quote unquote civil rights. That's what their fight was. Your fight was for civil rights. So feminism had nothing to do with black uh, women. And I always say to black women, they say, oh, men were oppressive. I said, okay, when it started, what, what were black men doing to oppress you? at that time. Black men weren't keeping you out of the workplace. Black men weren't underpaying you because they weren't in those positions to do that. So who was your fight with? You took on the white woman's fight with her white man and acted like the black men done it. And I'm like, it wasn't us. 
So for some reason, they've taken that feminist trope and they run with it. So you think all these new uh, artists and female rappers that give off that ratchet vibe, but you know, um, it's not it's not seen as as empowerment. It's seen as what? It's not seen as empowerment. It's seen as fucking dirty and disgusting. <laughs> Sorry, but it's like it's not. Imp- there's nothing empowering about throwing your vagina every year. There's nothing <laughs> empowering about saying that you're a whore. I said, are they not getting the bag? Yeah, they are <laughs> getting their bag, but it's like. You didn't become, quote-unquote, free and independent to be a whore, did you? If that's what you said, that's what you wanted to be free for, then it's like, well, we should have fucking kept you in the kitchen then. You know what I'm saying? Like, what, you just got free to be a whore? That, what do you mean? Like, so that's what you were, you were sitting in the kitchen saying, oh my God, these men are so oppressive. I wish I could be a whore. I wish I could give my vagina to every single person that I see. No, that's not what you get your freedom for. So it seems like, no, these women are not, Free. They're not, they think they're free, but they will tell you themselves that they're giving themselves a jail sentence. Mm. Men don't see them as valuable anymore. But you, you don't see it as like, all right, so some people might argue that, you know, the same way men got, you know, get rich quick schemes as in they might go be a drug dealer and, and all these things there. Obviously, I know it's completely different, but it's seen as, as, as something, you know. That's bullshit too. <clears throat> drug dealer? Yeah, of course it is. Mm-hmm. What, what are your it's, thoughts? It's, it's debauchery behaviour, like I said. Black people's... Un- We've all got drug dealers. Mm. Every nation has drug dealers. The, yeah. Al- the Albanians, the... You know what I mean? The Italians, the, the... But no one raises it to the surface. Oh, and so says, you, yeah. And says, this is what is the culture. Albanian culture's about selling drugs. No, it's not. We don't... I don't know what Albanian culture is, but I know I don't sit there and think, yeah, Albanians are drug dealers, you know? Yeah. I don't think that, but I'm sure they have drug dealers. Probably a lot of them. There's a lot, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you don't think that. But when you think of black people, you think of that. And oh, I'm saying, so, yeah. we now have the power in this day and time to change our narrative and to change what we look like. And if we continue pushing the things that are detriment to us, because I've got a son and he's 11. Mm-hmm. I don't want my son being thought of as a drug dealer. I don't want him being thought of as a black boy. I don't want him being thought of as a drug dealer. Mm. If I had a daughter, I wouldn't want her being thought of as some kind of ratchet person who's like sexy, sexy red. I wouldn't want them being thought of like that. Do you know what I mean? So both the men and the women's culture of debauchery is pushed to the surface. So pushing the wrong narratives. Yeah, we're pushing yeah. the wrong narratives. Now, <clears throat> yes, there is a concerted effort on the, you, the sides of the record companies and people in power to push that because it sells. Yep. But where also in powers, America specifically have the most black millionaires. So you guys can't come together, do something. You, uh, you're too individualistic. Oh, I've got, I've, got, I've got millions. Yeah, that's cool, bro. I'm good for you, as a matter of fact. You've done it, you made it. What are you doing now? Mm. Because your image, when you walk into a room with people that are non-black are going to look at you like, oh, he's one of those, isn't it? You know, drug dealers. And that's why I push for the forward movement of black people worldwide. I don't yeah. care if you're from Zimbabwe, America, anywhere. If you're black and you're doing something positive, push it. Mm. Because it makes it easier for me. Because <clears throat> then when I walk into a room, people think, oh, he's, he looks like, okay, he's not necessarily going to be this crazy drug dealer, dude could have a good idea actually in his head, mm. could be a good businessman. But if we don't push those things, then we'll always be looked at as the um, crazy drug dealers, man. 